Yo, what is going on y'all? I'm Cavell Anderson and we are back with another VV and Ecomi video. In this one, we're going to be talking about something that's big. Now, um, you all know that I'm more so looking forward to things like anime and stuff like that. So for me, this information isn't like huge, huge because of actually what has been revealed and what's confirmed to be coming on Thursday here. It's not big for that reason, in my opinion. For me, all the small details of what it actually represents and a lot of the stuff that people might be looking right past is what's very, very important here for me. So I'm going to break that down for you all. Um, be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and turn on notifications. Just to get it out of the way, just to tell you all what's going to be coming, what the big announcement was coming from these other YouTubers. Um, shout out to all the YouTubers that was there, man. Um, but yeah, like basically, um, what, what, what they announced is that we're going to have the Ghostbusters trap. That Ghostbusters trap is finally going to be coming. Now, that in itself, I don't think is is the big deal here. Like, if you're a Ghostbusters fan and you love that, then yeah, yeah, that's it's amazing. It's, it's awesome. But this represents so much more for Vivi, and that's what I'm excited about. The, the much more that it's representing and, and what it's going to be. And, and this whole situation, the whole thing that this is this is all representing. So, let's jump straight into it. We saw a first look at what's possible with the ambassadors program that that VV and Ecomi was talking about. So, four YouTubers came together and announced some news, like some exclusive news. Um they came together and announced it before Ecomi themselves. And I think that that's a big deal. Like being have like Ecomi working so closely with the YouTubers and and supporting um the the YouTubers in the community and things like that. I feel like that's a very very big step and a huge thing and it's critical that companies do this. I I came from the Call of Duty community like probably like 10 years ago at this point. Like that's when I first started YouTube. If you don't know, my first channel was well, my first channel was actually my channel with like 400,000 subscribers or whatever. Um that was the channel that I started off on Call of Duty. At that time, I used to see um, how Activision used to fly out all the YouTubers to test out their, their latest Call of Duty and give them early gameplay and things like that. And that would drive a bunch of excitement in the community because they would be dropping content early and stuff, building up hype. Then when the official announcements came, it would blow up. And, and I feel like that's you have to really be interactive with um, with the, the YouTubers who support you. One thing, one of the biggest mistakes I think companies do make is just going, throwing a bag at some huge, huge, ma certain massive YouTubers and only putting your time and efforts into these YouTubers with like millions of subscribers and stuff like that. Because these guys, more than likely, they're going to check out the pro project, talk about it, and they're never going to mention the project again. Um, but um, the YouTubers who are actually there putting in the groundwork, making content consistently about your project, that's what's going to be controlling the excitement and driving the excitement throughout the whole life cycle of your project. And that's who a lot of companies miss out on. So just being an experienced YouTuber, um, I, I can let you all know that th this is already great steps on the YouTube side of things because ultimately it does not matter how many big YouTubers you have. After these YouTube big YouTubers make videos, who are they going to see when they search up content on YouTube? They're going to see myself among all the other creators here in the community. So th we are the ones that's really going to be keeping them educated, informed, and having different opinions and perspectives and, and things like that. So um, this this first look at the Ambassadors program and how they're doing this and allowing um, how and allowing the YouTubers to have this honor of being able to basically talk about a drop before it comes out, I think that that's amazing. Um, also, the let, let's talk in, let's talk about the Ghostbusters trap in itself. Like that is an NFT that I'm personally not too too heavily invested in. I love it for these reasons, though. It's it's the, one of the first NFTs with sound effects, animations, like literally, it, it has the whole thing. You like, you, it, it has stuff that we have never seen before from VV. Like, it has the animations that look very, very good. It has the like. And let me try to play it in the background here. Um, and let us see. Like, check this out. I'm not gonna play the sound because I don't know what's copyrighted and what's not. So yeah, I don't, I don't wanna. Yeah, we don't do that. But. <clears throat> Check this out. It does have a sound effect. And, oh, yeah, it was some little technical difficulties here at first. So, look at that. That's huge. Look at Tap's face. <laughs> Tap's was all amazed. Look at that. Look at how it's, like, it's just shining. It's, it's shining, glistening. 
That's huge. Look at that. So yeah, um, <clears throat> so so this is what I mean. You have something like this. All these animations, it looks beautiful. It looks absolutely amazing. And this is the first time we're seeing something like this come from this team. Now imagine all the other NFTs that's going to come after and the level of detail and quality we're going to see from those. Because this is super, super high quality. That's super, super high quality right there. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, these sound effects and animations, it makes me excited for what we can see coming in the future. Because someone actually said, someone said in the stream, they commented, Yo, so is those the same animations and, and sound that the Pokeball going to make? I'm like, listen, it, it sounds kind of funny. People keep bringing up Pokemon, but realistically, a Pokeball could open and we could see a similar animation to something like this in the future. So I think that is very, like, the possibilities of what they can do with these type of animation. If these are the style of NFTs we're going to be getting in the future, I think it's going to be insane. So... This is a look into that future for me, and that's why I'm excited about this. Now, another interesting aspect of this drop is the um, how this actually started driving the sales of Slimer. So that's interesting. That's interesting for me. It, it shows you how one NFT, like, because obviously this is designed to suck in Ghost. What Ghost do we have on VV? Slimer. So... And you want to know what's crazy? I don't know if, like, I know people are going to be setting up pictures where Slimer's getting caught in it, but it would be crazy if two NFTs were interactive where it could actually slug, suck Slimer in and then push them back out. Like, but I don't know if they went that far with it. They probably didn't go that far with it. But that would be interesting. But it's, it's, we're seeing uh, some of the first looks at how one NFT can drive sales to another NFT just because they're correlated. And I think that that's very, very important. Um, that's going to be a very, very big part because it's also it's also similar to the VV verse. It's similar to the VV verse in that um, in the VV verse you're going to have to have certain NFTs to play certain mini games and stuff. Like they said, they're going to make it so certain certain NFTs are required to play certain mini games. So that being said, obviously um, this is a kind of an example of that. How one NFT drive sales to another or, or or an event drive sales to an nft or something like that like so this this is we're, we're seeing we're seeing that and this, this is more that we can look forward to when it comes down to one aspect of vv driving sales to another aspect of vv um and this is why you never know what's going to be valuable because they could do things like they could take the worst nft on vv not that any of them are bad at all but the, let's say the the most horrible performing wise as far as what's selling as far as what has interest and stuff like that they could literally take the one people are least interested in tie that to some big feature and everybody will start buying that up simply because it's going to allow you to gain access to something else that you actually care about and that's the that's the beauty of what vv is doing so i think that this is one of the first times we're seeing that aspect as well um <clears throat> but yeah that that's that's pretty much it like um that, that's pretty much my thoughts on it as a whole. Um, I'm interested in, in the sound effects, the animations, how um, how this could be what we potentially see creating things like the Pokeball in the future and the the, the um, boosting to sales. I really think that that's the big, one of the most key points about this for me is how it's able to boost sales because I don't know what the floor of Slimer is now, but it literally jumped from like $100 to like $130 or $140 or something like that just while we was on the stream. So, um, yeah, this is the, like the, I wouldn't be surprised if Slimer's, the floor of Slimer is like 200 or something now, if, if not higher. So yeah, I'm definitely looking forward to this, man. Um, I, I'm super excited. I'm super excited to see, um, K get together with, um, with, um, Taps, t Taps, um, <clears throat> I'm wannabe, wannabe champ and Daniel. I I'm super excited to see these guys get together and make some, um, make history honestly this is historic this is the very first time this has happened and yeah honestly we we are just at the beginning stages people are not realizing we're just at the beginning stages of this but we're at a stage already like call of duty i don't know when they started and i'm going back to call of duty because it is the one community that i saw who used to do it right like at this point in time it seems like call of duty has been doing a lot of stuff wrong for years but at the beginning they used to do it right and and to see to see VV taking some of the steps that Call of Duty was taking back then, I'm excited to see that they're they're 
they're making good moves and smart decisions and things that I feel like is going to drive this community very, very far. So let me know what you all think about this in the comment section down below. Um, this is a big deal. This is a big deal for those reasons. Um, let me know how you feel about it. If you're super, super excited for the NFT itself or if you're like me and you're super excited for what it represents. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comment section down below. Be sure to drop that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, Joe.